Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. And I'm Chrissy. And along with our six children, we're converting this school bus into an RV. Today we're taking a break from the schoolie build and we're going to Costco. And this trip to Costco is a little different because it's our last haul from Costco. It's our last trip, right? Yep. And we'll tell you why when we get there. Cheap TVs. 65 inch Samsung 529. So, why is this our last Costco haul? Well, it's not our last haul forever, just our last haul before we go into the bus. That's right, this is the last trip to Costco before we go on the bus, so we kind of had to watch how much stuff we get. So, we're only going to get stuff that's necessary, right? That's right, we'll see. Yeah. We were fooled by that last time, but not again. Not tricking us again. They they're, not that, they're not that great. They're not that great. They're okay, but they're not that great. They're just okay. And now we're gonna show you some of our favorite items that we get from Costco. This uh, Kirkland brand body wash, we actually really like it. It is pretty good, so. Sometimes you can catch it on sale, but not this time. But a two pack for $10, it's not that bad. We also like the four pack of Old Spice deodorants so none of us guys stink. And she appreciates that we wear deodorant. Has anybody tried this before? Oh I've been looking for a moisturizer and uh, I've heard other people talk about this, but what do you think? Have you tried it? And what do you recommend? Organic tomato sauce. Okay, they don't always have these at our Costco. At our Costco, so but these are so good, and I'm really excited that they have them. Definitely try them if you get the chance. This is something they don't always have either. And when they have them, we kind of stock up, but we can't get as many this time since we're going in the bus. But these refried beans, they're really good. Wild cherries and syrup. Nineteen dollars for this little bottle. I guess probably because of the bottle. And we need these because snacks for the kids and if you watched our live, you know, cheesecake. Velveeta, it's way cheaper here than at the Walmarts. This Mateo's salsa is really good. We do like to make our own salsa, but if you don't have your own or you don't make your own, this is a really good alternative. And we usually get a couple boxes of this pasta because we make about two boxes at a time because you know, five boys. We usually get this King Arthur flour for baking and for my sourdough starter. This 12 pound bag is $9.49. Two five pound bags at Walmart would be like 11 bucks. And this organic brown sugar is really good brown sugar. The texture is so much different than what you would get at Walmart. It's um, what I use for my baking and I really do like it. I recommend it. I recommend it also for cookies. <laughs> and we usually get tortillas here because uh, I make a lot of quesadillas for lunch and we have tacos and it's just a really good deal. We like them. We usually get the uh, sharp cheddar and mozzarella shredded cheese here because you get two bags and um, it's a really good deal. And, it, and it's also cheaper per pound than our local grocery stores. We got some chicken chunks for the kids for some lunches and then we got cream cheese for a cheesecake sour cream for cheesecake and these Biscoff cookies for we're gonna try it as a cheesecake crust and this chocolate milk is really really tasty it's expensive $8.99 for two 52 ounce bottles but I'm gonna fight the urge and not get it this time but it's worth the price So we think that this 
one of our subscribers, Monica. We think this is the right one. Let me get that. Is this the right one? We're getting this. Hopefully it's the right one. We're gonna try them. Well, this is the damage. So uh, let us know in the comments down below what you guys think the total is. It's probably more than we thought we were gonna get. We went back in to try to get a pizza and they said they're out of pizza, out of stock. How does that happen? How does Costco Food Court run out of pizza? Okay, so this is everything we got. Some ground beef, hot dogs, pasta we talked about. Shadow there. Household stuff. Pizzas, butter, whipped cream. Mushrooms that'll definitely rot in the fridge. Chocolate chips for cookies. Butter. Uh, baby wipes, good for lots of things. Bought a big bag of sugar, 20 pounds. We got, we got one bag of potatoes this time. One bag of onions. <clears throat> Last time I think we got three bags of potatoes. So this is everything we got in this haul before we go on the bus. And it wasn't quite as big as our last haul. What? 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 what are you, what's wrong? Nothing. I got something. Go ahead. Oh. It's not quite as big as our last haul, but it's close. So make sure you tell us in the comments whether you're right on the guess or not. And what's the total? $683.90. $683.90. And last time was how much? I think $717. So a little bit less. We'll have to get the totals for sure from last time. Tomorrow night for dinner, we're having stuffed mushrooms so they don't go bad in the refrigerator. Hope you're ready. No, these are not get. Um, these are not getting in. Oh, yes. They're going to rot in the fridge. Yes. You're getting I'll stuffed mushrooms. Go on. Eat it. I'll throw them away. All right, guys, that's our last big Costco haul for now, anyway. Mom, At least till we're out of the bus. Because we're not exactly sure how much stuff we can fit in the bus yet, so future Costco trips for us, we'll have to kind of play it by ear and see how much room we got. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can get notifications. So you can follow us along on our bus building adventures and our travels. And uh, until next time, bye. Life is a winding road.